Paul is at the height of his paranoia and the height of his criminality. He ain't got time to get buddy-buddy with you and ask you why before he pop you. Nah, bruh. Two men pulled up next to, so this is in traffic. But little Reese say, caught him like in, out in traffic. Oh, the two men pull up. He's in a car. All right, Bruce chilling, listening to uh, Takashi, the album Tattletales. Like, hmm, let me play that. And then Tyler tells, he's like, I ride it on my mask. He's like, hey, yo. Bruce, this is what Bruce said. Hey, yo, this mother F is spitting. Spitting fat. So two men pull up while he's in the car. I'm assuming they were Asian. All right, because uh, not trying to make them seem like they're greater than, but... <laughs> The man had snipers and all that type of stuff. The American mercenaries and military. This is some street S right here. Okay. So two men, I assume to be Asian, possibly Filipino or Indonesia. Maybe even uh, 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 Yakuza from Hong Kong. You forget he got money out there. He got a reach out in Hong Kong. They pull up on the bikes. Watch One motorcycle. And not the one with the hands in the air, like a Harley Davidson. No, we're talking a Filipino uh, 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 corner store delivery bicycle. Okay. <laughs> Bike. Motorbike. They pull up and they look at them. And they make eye contact and they say, Chikabukore. <laughs> That is not a language. I just made that up. They aim at him and they say, but it doesn't make a shooting sound. This is the sound it made. <laughs> no disrespect. So they hit him with the Kung Fu fighting, except instead of uh, a kick and a fist, okay, they gave him bullets. Drive by. And motorbike or motorcycles took off. Shot him right through the window. I can't say as unfortunate as it is a loss of life, but hey, live by the gun. Pew, 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 by the gun. That man sent some Yakuza Elite. <laughs> let, me ask, let me chill. On top of that, see, Pa can't be moving sloppy, bruh. Okay? Because he ain't moving bricks no more. He went from moving bricks to selling arms, not even to a local brick guy. He's selling arms to, like, uh, terrorist organizations out in Africa. So he can't have nobody knowing about his little dealings you got bruce over here playing innocent but bruce been yapping to his lawyer so guess what after the yakuza ninjas took out bruce they had a new target i assume by this point paul's ability to order a hit or 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 or, or, or the taking of life became easier you know, at first he told him drown the man, but then he changed his mind. Come back up. Then he, he had to get personal when he took out Dave Smith, his own best friend. Why did you do this, Ben? This is how I assume it looked. Why, my brother, why? I trusted you. I loved you. Now I have to do this to you. Trust me, it hurts me more than it hurt you. You finished, Bruce. But by the time it became Bruce's point, he got over that fear. Okay. He had to. It's over now. He's like, pew, pew, pew. All right, new target. Next. So who's next, though? You remember the lawyer? Joe Zuniga. So Joe, Joey Z Zuniga. 
he was last seen alive the year of 2012. Nobody heard from him since. He's presumed to be, uh, you know, B-E-A-D. You know, since his vehicle, he was driving a vehicle. The vehicle turned up empty. <laughs> they found the vehicle, but they didn't find Joey. And, you know, given what we know, you know, the other man's uh, Brucey, pew, 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 out in traffic. Like the Lil Reese song. It was Bruce, then Joe, so you pretty much knew what's up. Pew, quickly. Damn. Crazy, right? Well, hold on. It's not over. What do you mean? There's more? Yeah. You remember the journalist? The one that was yapping? Huh? See, he's not. He, he, he overstepped his boundary. He talked too much. The one that made the contact. He was just a journalist, bro. Like, if you want to make contact, tell him contact authorities. Contact me for you. Ever heard of Twitter? I don't know. Telegram or something. Why you got it? Because now he's involved. He knows too much. From what it seems to me, given my, like I said, I'm from the streets. I noticed that a, a little pattern, a little change here. At first, Pa had to trust you and have you, you know, become friends, and, you know, and had to become his hitter. You know, he was picking out UK, USA, ex army. But notice the past couple ones have been like <laughs> motorcycles. Okay, random, just a street. No trust, just results, bro. All right, he was just moving like that, like, boom. Hey, yo, bro, get it gone, bro. I got the money from boom, boom. From what it seems to me, it's no longer a military operation, bro. We're going to get the target, execute the target. And it's no more of that. He got Filipino dude who probably just trying to come up. Go get the job done. Our list messed up. So, boom, two targets down. New target. This time, the journalist, Mar Supnad, was targeted for assassination as well. But I think Mar has prayed to the Lord that day because he survived. And the guy who attempted to uh, take him out, he was arrested. On separate charges, though. Different thing. In his possession, you know, they found, you know, the classics. All right. Little pistol. Probably a butt. I just made that up. They didn't, I don't know. But the highlighted individ, uh, item, sorry, they found on uh, on his person, or on his body, okay, when they grabbed him, they found a list. Like a paper, a list. This is so old school. It's like Young Zuby says, I got a hit list. They found a list. List of what, you may ask, grocery shopping? All right, what, the wife said go get some milk? <laughs> nah, son, a list of what? A bucket list, maybe? Things he would like to accomplish one day? Before he, you know, life as an assassin. Catches up with him in the street? Nope, not that either. Hmm. I know. It could be a list of AK to Bree songs because he just dropped singles, not an album. So he made it a list. Nope. Although that would be nice. That would be a nice list to have. But nah, different list. Try again. Hmm. I don't know, AK. I give up. What's the list? Ready? Boom. Check it out. Boom. Bam. A list of targets to be assassinated. Holla. How many targets are we talking? The three, right? Journalist, him and him. Ha <laughs> ha Three? 
my son three it might have might as well been a it might as might have as well been a grocery shopping list by the amount of time they found nine individuals on that list to be assassinated by the hitman nine targets bro yes nine targets including mar good lord see paul's willingness to take a life in those ways it shows you the progression izzy said he became truly evil and this is this was you know the, the moment where he went from villain or sorry from criminal to villain all right this was the transition or transitional period what made him villainous was the infrastructure he had built to commit these crimes not just the crimes themselves see it's different like for example the m word the taking of a life you got degrees to it if it happens in like uh let's say in the moment passion out of passion of uh, or heat or self-defense it's different where if you had planned it out you see what i'm saying he had built the infrastructure he had a whole army of mercenaries hitman okay thugs out in the street maybe young thug as well before his albums took off and not to mention he had countless politicians police uh you name it authorities paid off Oh boy. Holy. Now, so far, to the average viewer, you know, you might be asking, like, AK, hey, we've heard that story before, okay? If I wanted to hear about some dude becoming uh, uh, El Chapo or Pablo Escobar, it's the same story. It's a cartel leader, you know, story, but nah. I'm going to correct you right there. See, what makes Pa different from a from a person like uh, El Chapo, let's say, or maybe uh, Pablo or such, is he did not grow up, you know, he did not grow up around a cartel, bruh. Okay, this man grew up trolling on the internet. He could have been... You know, if uh, he took a different path in life, you know how they say the butterfly effect, all right, parallel universe, he could have been in my comment section right now, trolling just like you guys troll me. He's an internet dude from the internet culture. And he knows how to code. So on top of his quote-unquote criminality, all right, on top of his little cartel come up, Little El Chapo uh, uh, rags to riches little story here, which it was already riches. He just went from riches to crazy riches, and I blame his his mental health. I feel like it was a mix between uh, him finding out he's adopted and him going through a divorce. On top of him getting, you know, it was a whole bunch of whole bunch of. And I'll tell you this from experience. I mean, maybe you don't know me. Let's just look at Soldier Boy. Look at Soldier Boy in his early beginnings. He was the uh, uh, you dancing, you know, guy for the kids. But a couple years later, a couple million dollars later, you've got Soldier Boy that got 150 shooters in Atlanta supposedly so you can see what money and the envy of people to you with money and that lifestyle it changes the person in, a, in a, such a way you add divorce on top of that and uh and uh, and, uh finding out you're adopted all of a sudden i can see how he could snap and that's just what we know of you know 
there's a lot of uh, uh, people online who done a very good job covering his personal life. But me, today, I don't, I'm not talking about his personal life. Okay, I'm here to tell you about the, the, the streets, okay? What happened with Paul? How did he get locked up? That's what you want to know. How did he become someone worth, worthy of you knowing him? What's the story? Boom, bam. So, you know, let's, let's not forget to mention that he is a genius encryption coder. All right? The man wrote E4M, and it wasn't even seeking profit from writing such software. Maybe he tried to sell it here and there. But at its core, it wasn't a, a, a capitalistic, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, download Windows 11 now type of, no, nah, it was open source. So he comes from that same era of internet that I did, you know? If you watch my This Is 50 interview and whatnot, they wrote about me and him shared pretty much the same beginnings, same stories. All right, I'll talk about it another day. Now, a pa, you know, his operations in the Philippines clearly define him as a villain at this point. So we've reached, we've jumped from Shady, dubious, crook, businessman, all right? Ole mole donut shop, all right? We've jumped from that to criminal, all right? We're talking YSL, Rico type of criminal, all right? Maybe Treyway at best, all right? Then we exceeded that, and we jumped into what? You know, it wasn't about no money, like, at least... And not to justify anything, but at least if somebody's selling drugs, you know, not that it's a good thing, but at least he is just giving a demand to a, or supplying a demand that was, at his, I mean, as it is harmful, it's not a good thing, but it's just people trying to get high. But when you jump into arms trading, okay, and, you know, it's levels to it. You ain't selling like, okay, it's, it's levels to it. It's one thing selling a strap to your neighbor or a guy off Craigslist or whatever or Facebook Marketplace <laughs> right? or wherever you sell your straps to. That's one thing. You sell it to a humble, go get them everyday Joe type of guy, okay? A Joe Schmo, all right? That's one thing, selling a strap to a, a, a civilian. Then you got the level of, let's say, you selling straps to a gangbanger, all right? He's on Instagram talking about the ops going to get hit tonight, da-da-da. And you go and sell him a, a glacky. You're a scum, all right? What do you think he's going to do with it? Are you selling a strap, strappy to a, 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 a kid who, um, you know, one quick look at his Facebook, you see a Confederate flag. And you can tell he gets no meow. So he's already, you know, I don't want to say he's this or that, but I just don't want him having a strap. You choose to sell him a strap. That's that's a level above. Above gangbanger. All right? Maybe you sell him a switch. That's a level above it. A switch you on a Glock. It is what it is. You know, it's a 10 years in jail type of level. But... We've left all these levels. He jumps. He skipped all that. He said, nah, bro. He is straight up supplying guns and, and, and artillery and military grade weaponry by the crates. You know, not a box or two. Crates that you got to carry on a ship. And that ship <laughs> on Captain Ufuk, let's read up. You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.